Hello everyone, in this week double exposure we're gonna see how to create this really cool image that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop and then let's go to File, New. And I will put 1920 for the width, 1080 for the height, and 72 in the resolution and RGB in the color mode. And I will press OK. Alright, next I'm going to change this background in here to a solid color. So I will go to adjustment and I will choose solid color. And I will keep white for now and I will press OK. Now we can delete this one. Alright, now we'll go and open the image that we'll be using which is this one in here so we'll drag it and open it in this new document and I will press enter as you can see it will open as a smart object now we need to remove this background so while I'm selecting the model layer I will go to select and I will choose subject and because we have a solid color as a background it would be easier to make a selection as you can see now we'll just apply a layer mask by one click on this layer mask icon Alright, now I'm going to press Ctrl or Command T on my keyboard and I will make the model bigger so we're only going to use the head of the model in here. So I will make it bigger somewhere around here. Alright, something like this. And I will press Enter. Let me just put it in the center. Alright, this should be good. Alright, now I will go back and I will open the the mountain image that you're gonna use as a double exposure so we'll go and open it in the same document just like this and I will press enter now I will change the blending mode of it to lighten and then I'm gonna press ctrl or command T and I will make it bigger so we're gonna choose a better position for our image in here so I want this part of the rocks or the mountain to look to looks like it's coming from the neck in here as you can see so I'm just gonna rotate it and I will bring it somewhere around here as you can see until I will find a good position for the image alright so I think I like it like this so I'm just gonna press enter Alright, now the next thing that we're gonna do is to change the background color to match this sky that we have from the mountain and also we're gonna apply some adjustment to our model so it will fit good with the, the mountain image in here. So let's start with the adjustment, so I'm gonna select the model layer in here and then I will go to adjustment and I will apply a black and white adjustment. And then I will clip it to the model layer by one click on this clipping mask icon. And then I will bring down the opacity to around 50% or 60. So let's keep it 50%. And then I will go back again to adjustments. And this time I will apply levels. And again I will clip it using the same clipping mask icon. And I will play a little bit with the, the levels in here from the sliders. So we'll bring down this to around 9. And I will play with the midtones. So I will drag it a little bit into the right to around 0.60. And as you can see while I'm doing that, you can see more details from the mountain appearing in here. As you can see. But we don't want it to be that over. So I will just keep it around 0.60. And I will drag this slider from the whites in here. Somewhere around here it should work good. Alright, something like this. Alright, that looks good. Now if I zoom in, you can see there are some details on the face of the model that I don't want. But also I, don't, I want to remove this part in here and I only want to keep this part. So to remove all of this, you can just go back to the mountain image in here. And then uh, apply a layer mask, a white layer mask as you can see and using a simple round brush with the opacity of 50% I 
and also I will make sure that black is my foreground color in here and I can delete all these details that I don't want to be on the face of the model and also I'm gonna delete this part that I said that I don't want it all right something like this and I will soft this part a little bit maybe remove all the screen just a little bit all right let's bring a little bit back of the details by switching between white and black using x on my keyboard all right so something like this it should be working good and i also want to delete this part of the dress of the model as you can see i don't like to be like this so i will go back to the model layer and i will make sure that i'm selecting the layer mask and again using black as my foreground color i can just delete this part using the same brush in here and this will give it more good blending with the background as you can see all right now let's uh, change the background color so it will match the the skies from the the mountain so let's select uh, the solid color that we just added in the beginning and then i will double click on it and the color picker will show up and then i will sample the same color that we have from the sky from the the mountain image as you can see and this will blend everything together very good maybe you can even make it a little bit softer all right something like this it should work and i will piece okay all right now uh, we're almost done i only need to bring more details from these rocks that we have in here or from these hills from the mountain on the neck i want to i want them to look more visible so to do that i'm gonna make a copy of the same mountain image that we have in here by pressing ctrl or command j and this will create a copy of it and then i will delete this layer mask in here and also i'm gonna switch back the blending mode back to normal and then i will apply a black layer mask by pressing alt or option on my keyboard and one click on this layer mask and this will apply a black layer mask and then using the same brush but this time i'm gonna put down the opacity of this brush to around 15 percent and then using white as my foreground color i can just paint back some details from the mountain image as you can see that's a little bit to look like it's coming from the neck in here and you know if you want to delete from the details that you just painted you can switch uh, back to black by pressing x on your keyboard and this way you can switch between black and white and this will help you blend everything good together all right so only something like this it should look good all right i'm happy with this now i'm gonna add another solid color on top of everything so let's go to adjustment and choose solid color and this time i will choose a, an orangey color to so somewhere in here and then i will choose a bright orange in here or a yellowish to orangey color in here all right something like this if you want to copy this hex code you can do that but i will make sure that uh, to include this psd in the description all right so i will press ok and then i will uh, switch the blend mode to exclusion and then i will uh, put down the opacity to 10 percent and i will press ok and this will blend everything together smoothly as you can see all right now it's time to add a little bit of cloud to fake it like it's there is a cloud on the, the sky of uh, the mountain and of course you can always use uh, another image to add more details to your double exposure if you want all right so let's go and open the cloud image it's already in png so you just gonna drag it and open it in here and as you can see it looks very good and now i'm gonna make it smaller so it will give that look like it's on top of the mountain 
and maybe rotate it a little bit. And I want to follow these details from the other image. So let's put it around here. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. All right, so something like this. Maybe rotate it a little bit more. Make it more bigger. Something like that. And I will press enter. All right, now I'm gonna add an, a blur to this image. So let's go to filter and choose blur and then Gaussian blur. And I will keep one pixel in the radius in here and I will press OK. And then I'm gonna apply a layer mask. So I'm gonna try to fade a little bit with the background. So using the same brush and I will put up the opacity to around 30% and uh, I will make sure that I'm selecting the layer mask and also black as my foreground color. I will just delete a little bit from the edges in here so it will blend more with, with the image. All right, something like that, just a little bit to give it more fade from the background in here. All right, so we're almost done. Now, the only thing that we're gonna add is a level adjustment. So let's go to adjustment and choose levels. And then I will go to the RGB and I will choose red. And I will play with the shadows and light in here from the sliders something like 8 to 246 and I will go to the blue and I will do the same I will drag this shadow slider in here and I will do the same for the lights and of course while you look into your image you can choose the perfect setting for your image as you can see you just give it a little bit of color to the overall image and that will be all so I hope that you like this week double exposure and it was a little bit fun for you to watch. If you tried this, let me know on Instagram or Facebook. I have all the link down in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.